Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Parsa or Ayupad, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Hypixel Skyblock video. So before this video starts, I just want to mention a couple things. First of all, if you've noticed that my mic sounds different, maybe you do, maybe you don't, it is because I actually did upgrade from my old headset mic to a quadcast, so that is pretty nice. My mic should sound higher quality for these videos now. Also, we're getting really, really close to 2,000 subscribers. I think we're like 100 away, and once we hit that, we are going to be doing another 100 million coin giveaway in my Discord server, so all you have to do to enter that is just enter my discord server go into giveaways and react to the bot in the channel that says giveaway and uh, yeah that's basically it so anyway without further ado let's get right on with the video so normally while i'm streaming or even in my comment section i always have people mostly like early to mid game asking me what gear they need for floor 7 and what they should buy to do floor 7 so i thought well, why not just make an entire Floor 7 gear guide video? So in this video, we're going to be going over all the gear for four classes in Floor 7. We're not going to be talking about healer, because let's be real here, who plays healer? But we're going to be talking about the tank, archer, berserker, and mage classes. And we're going to be splitting these up into three different categories. We're going to say early Floor 7, which is about Kata 28 to 32, mid Floor 7, which is about Kata 32 to 38, and then late Floor 7, which is about Kata 38 and above. Now, I won't really be giving like methods on money and stuff, and I won't really do too much of a budget, although I will put maybe some budgeting tips and stuff, but mostly I'm just going to be talking about the gear that is appropriate for your cattle level and what you're going to need. Okay, so before we start anything with this video, I just want to talk about some basic, I would say like general gear that no matter what cattle level you are and no matter what class you are, you should have for floor 7. So the first thing is the Bonzo Staff. Now, the reason that the Bonzo Staff is so overpowered is because you can actually Bonzo kind of, people call it Bonzo Jump, where you just use the Bonzo Staff and you just kind of smack yourself forward. And this is extremely helpful for terminals and some other things too, like getting to the pad really quickly in part two. Another really important item that is not only even for floor seven, but for basically any dungeon floor at all is the stonk or any sort of like pickaxe that can mine really fast. Personally, I have an efficiency 10 gold pickaxe, but you can use a stonk too. Now, now, this helps you a lot with certain cheeses for secrets and it also helps you do one thing that's crucial which is terminal skipping in part three you can just mine right through the gate and get to a different terminal another item that you're gonna want probably at least is a jerry sheen gun this allows you to up crush in part two and it's quite useful just because of that really no no other uses but yeah that's basically all for the general gear and yeah now let's get right on to the video and the actual specific gear for the specific classes all right so first let's talk about probably the most played class which is the archer class so first off a quick note for the archer class usually there's only about one archer in every party because if you have more than one it basically halves the archer's damage so just keep that in mind when going archer class is that there's a lot of other archers playing the same class as you so to be able to play archer class in the early ranges of catacombs levels like kata 28 to 32 the best setup for archer that you can obviously like logically afford at that kata level is going to be three quarters neck on armor obviously five starred with at least rejuvenate five and also a golden necron head which nowadays can be quite pricey but it's still extremely important now i'm sure you all guess what weapon you're going to be using but that's going to be the juju short bow obviously it is just the best archer weapon other than the terminator and most people like had a 28 cannot afford a 1 billion coin bow also, when it comes to pets, the archer is probably best off using a tank pet as their low cata level, so either a baby yeti pet or a blue whale pet. Now, I know that you guys are all saying baby yeti is getting nerfed, but it's still probably going to be pretty useful, and for its price, especially right now, being only around 20 mil for a level 100 epic pet, it is quite a good deal still. And also, the blue whale pet, although being more expensive, is really, really good, and you probably won't have too many issues with it as long as you have a tank in your party. So now Next, let's talk about the Berserker class. Now, let's be real here, nobody really plays Berserker. So honestly, the best thing to do for Berserker class is usually just to be playing the same exact thing as Archer, just going as Berserker. Berserker has the Bloodlust ability, which makes it really, really OP for killing mini bosses as it scales up damage as you shoot it. So it could even be a little bit better for Archer as damage if the Archer is doing quite low damage. Usually, the Archer is the one primarily responsible for damage, especially to Necron. So if you just have three other Berserkers with Juju Shortbows, it should be more than enough damage to kill Necron. And the Juju Shortbow is a quite cheap weapon that's probably the most versatile.
versatile and useful for clearing as a berserker. Now on to mage. So mage is kind of a tricky class, and the reason this is is because there's really no other mage weapon that is acceptable to use in floor 7 other than a wither impact weapon like a Hyperion. Though honestly, I would say for all those earlier game players that are trying to do things like buy Midas staffs and just kind of cheese mage, maybe play LCM with a giant sword, this isn't really worth it. I would say either you just play mage with a Hyperion at any cata level or you're just not playing mage at all because it really isn't worth it without a Hyperion in floor or seven. So now let's talk about the tank class and the early cata levels of the tank class. Now the first thing that I'm going to say is that a tank class is basically necessary for lower cata players. So if you don't have a tank in your party, well you're kind of doomed and you're probably going to die to Necron. So the gear for tank class is pretty obvious and doesn't really change throughout any cata level and this is just using three-fourths golder armor, um, obviously again five starred, with a reaper mask. Now this armor set doesn't really have too many requirements. The reaper mask's only requirement is Rev 7, which really isn't hard nowadays. Getting Revenant 7 shouldn't take more than a couple of hours. The Golder set is even cheaper than the Necron set, so it is quite affordable and easy to get. And finally, the tank doesn't really need a weapon, but if the tank wants to, you could get a Juju Shortbow so he can be more useful during the clear. If not, during the run, the tank should just be doing secrets and puzzles. Also, as for a pet, there really isn't any other pet that a tank should be using other than a blue whale pet. It's basically just the only option. Baby Diddy pets are not good for tanks because tanks don't really have much strength so yeah blue whale pet plus tank you literally won't die a couple of extra things that tank can use to survive first of all the wither cloak sword this is extremely useful and it helps tanks survive a lot more another thing that tanks are usually responsible for for in floor 7 is actually up crushing which is basically just crushing necron faster as you crush him up into the pillar so you don't have to move the pillar all the way up for this tanks usually require a jerry sheen gun so just make sure to have one of those always in your inventory so that basically wraps it up for the tank so now let's talk about some of the more kind of mid-level class requirements and gear. So first off, let's just talk about the Archer class again. So at Cata level 32 to 38, Archers should be able to survive without using a kind of tanky pet like a Baby Yeti, especially if they have a tank in the run. So the gear that I would recommend for this level of Archer is basically the same gear as the last Archer, but maybe with a pet like Wither Skeleton or even an Ender Dragon if you can afford it. Also, if you have the money, you should maybe upgrade to a Terminator, but I would honestly recommend that even if you're Archer, you get a Hyperion before you get a Terminator as it just makes clears much, much faster. And a Terminator isn't really as good for Floor 7 as a Hyperion is as it just adds a lot of clear. Now, in the case that you do get a Hyperion, I wouldn't say you have to switch to mage you could just clear with the hyperion in the storm set and then you can play archer like you normally do with your juju short bow in the floor seven run that's basically it for the archer gear in this cattle level it hasn't changed much just a couple of better gear items so i know it sounds a little bland but with berserker with this new cattle level i would say the mid cattle level range nothing really changes as last time it's just the same thing that i just said for archer really you wouldn't really have many berserker weapons of her own um, AOTS is something that you could use, the Axe of the Shredded, but I wouldn't really recommend it as most parties don't really need that type of crazy damage at that cata level. You could just kill Necron pretty, pretty easily, so... For Berserker, literally just the same thing as I just recommended for the Archer class. Okay, so now let's talk about the Mage class. So first of all, with the Mage class, now at this cata level, um, you probably could afford a Hyperion. So I would say Mage classes are going to become a lot more prominent and uh, more clear to see in Cata 32 ranges. So what you're going to need for a mage is probably a full storm set because you're going to need mana, your low Cata. Now, if you're in the higher Cata range of this, maybe Cata 35, 36, you could use a max or set and it gives you a lot of speed and still probably will give you enough mana. Now, in the actual run, obviously you're going to use your Hyperion to clear and to do all the damage, but if you are having trouble with mana, you should probably be using a sheep pet. If you aren't having trouble with mana and you want a lot of speed, you should use a black cat pet with a dwarf turtle shell mate basically throughout the whole run because again it gives you a lot of speed that's basically it for the mages at this level um not much to talk about just hyperion is basically the gear upgrade just hyperion and a storm set and either a sheep pet or a black cat pet for speed 
Okay, so now let's talk about the tank class in the mid cata ranges. Now, the tank class is probably the class that will change quite a lot in these ranges, and this is because the tank can't really be useless anymore and um, do nothing in the run. Tank usually needs to clear. So I'm sure people know that uh, the Estrella is the weapon for the tank, and I would kind of recommend the Estrella just so you could survive a little bit easier as a tank, as it gives a lot of defense, but also because it's really useful in the clear. Now, if you can't afford an Estrella, that's okay. Um, as I said before, a Juju Shortbow is really good for clearing, but at this point, I would also recommend getting a second set of Wither Armor, which is the Necron set, so you can actually clear and do damage and actually pretty much be useful and clear like an Archer or a Berserker in the run, and then swamp to your tank gear in the boss fight so you can tank the boss. So basically, your two options here are to, are to play Mage as a tank in the run or to play Archer as a tank in the run, and then in the end of the boss fight, you just swamp over to your tank gear and you tank like you normally do. The tank gear doesn't really change from the last um, tank gear that I mentioned for the lower cata levels. Um, it's basically the same and it will stay the same. All right, so now let's talk about the later game. Um, so this is basically, I would say, from like cata 38 and above. So here's the gear that you're going to need. So first of all, for late game archer. Now, I would definitely recommend having a terminator at this point. If you're a cata 38 and you don't have a terminator, you're basically useless. So you shouldn't have a juju at this point. You should have a terminator. Also, for clearing the dungeon, I would recommend having a Hyperion because it's just super useful and it is better than Terminator for actually clearing and then you just swamp over to your archer gear in the boss fight. Now a diamond Necron hunt at this point would be quite acceptable too to do way more damage as the archer and an ender dragon pet or even a golden dragon pet is pretty necessary. Not necessary obviously but it boosts your damage a lot and at this stage of the game you should be getting one of these. So now for the Berserker class, I know this is disappointing, but literally it's just the same thing that I said for Archer. Berserker and Archer are basically just the same class. Berserker is just the little replacement when there's already an Archer in the party. So for playing Berserker in this cata level, same thing as I just said for Archer. So now let's talk about mages. So mages are quite interesting because usually high level mages don't really change much. They just use a max or set and they just use a Hyperion and that's basically it. However, if you want at a higher cata level now, you could actually play a left click mage. Now the way that left click mage works is you just rely on doing insane damage with your mage beams. However, this isn't really useful with a Hyperion, but it is extremely useful with a one for all giant sword. Now I'm not sure how this is gonna work out in the future because one for all as many of you know is becoming additive instead of being base so basically the gear that you would use for this is just obviously a giant sword and you would really only bring this out for mini bosses and in the dungeon uh in the actual boss fight room so when you're killing necron you would just left click mage it and you should also have an ancient storm set for this as it boosts your damage a lot so you should probably have a maxer set for the clear with your hyperion and then an ancient storm set so you can do insane damage in the boss fight to necron with your giant sword also the best pet for this isn't a sheep or anything it is an ender dragon pet so you're also going to want that so you can do the most damage you can in the boss fight room and now finally for the late game tank I would basically recommend the exact same gear except not a Juju Shortbow anymore. If you're playing tank at a later level, you should be having a Hyperion or at least an Estrella or whatever, some sort of weapon to be able to clear with, so any sort of Wither Blade so that you can clear the dungeon and then you don't even necessarily need to swap to Golder set during the boss. You could probably tank it in a good Necron set with a Blue Whale pet. Or, you know, obviously you could just swap to a good Golder set and you can use your Blue Whale pet, of course, to tank it. That is really up to you, but I know lots of higher Cata tanks that can literally just tank normally in Necron armor with a Blue Whale pet or even without a Blue Whale pet, Blue Whale pet and be fine. So I hope this video kind of helped you guys out and kind of clarified some of the gear that you're going to be needing for Floor 7 from the early game to the late game. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. I am happy to answer um, any questions. And if I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. I'll make sure to update that in the comments or, you know, just do better next time. So yeah, that's basically it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.